Greetings, Northeast Middle School students and staff. Welcome to the first edition of On the Couch with More. This school year, on our show, I will be interviewing our principal, Ms. Baldwin, assistant principal, Mr. Covington, new and old teachers, school staff and students, as well as our international education students and their backgrounds. You will be updated on upcoming fundraisers, school events, and any changes to the school day schedule. Today, sitting on the couch, we have our principal, Ms. Baldwin. We're gonna dodge right into our questions that we have for our principal. Our first question of the day for Ms. Baldwin is give us a little background history about yourself. It's kind of a big question, Mr. Moore. <laughs> um, well, I'm not from Baltimore. Okay. I'm actually from Connecticut, all right. Hartford. Um, I taught instrumental music. So for all those students who are gonna be in the band, watch out, I was a band director. Um, from there, I went out to Kansas City, Missouri, where I was an arts educator and an administrator. And then I came to Baltimore just to be a principal. Says, how many years have you been in education, and why did you choose the education field? I don't even know. It's over 15, I'm sure. And um, I chose to go into education because I was really a musician. I was okay. a professional musician. All right. And I know that the music teachers in my life really impacted me. And there I came a point um, when I decided I just wanted to give back the same thing that I was given. So I stepped into the classroom. Great, great. All right. Next, um, do you ever as aspire to go any higher than being a school principal? And what would that profession be? I don't know. I'm, I'm tending to believe that one of the highest callings you can have in education is to be a school principal. Right. All of the 395 little human beings in this building mm -hmm. I'm responsible for. That's a pretty big job. Right. Um, I think it's a more worthwhile job than even something like a superintendent because with each level in education you move further and further away from the students and that's why I wanted to do this. I mm -hmm. wanted to be near kids, not near offices. Okay. I want every student in this building to have all the choices in life that they need. In other words, I want them to have the educational background so they can choose a high school that they want to go to and then choose a college and choose a career. So whatever I have to do and whatever we have to do as educators so that choices aren't made for the young people in this building, that's why I'm here. Name an aha moment you have had since being here at Northeast. An aha moment. Yes, an aha moment. An aha moment. <laughs> I've had several. I think one of the aha moments was that children in Baltimore need somebody to believe in them and to help them to believe in themselves. That's a little bit different than where I was in Connecticut and a little bit different than where I was in Missouri. And my other aha moment is that seventh graders are crazy. <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Now our last question for today would be finish this statement. Northeast Middle School is? My baby. Northeast Middle School is your baby. Okay. All righty. So there you have it on the couch with more with our principal, Ms. Baldwin, and we will be updating you on any other um, pe uh, any other staff members that we will be have sitting on the couch, and just be on the lookout for our show. Bye. Good morning, Northeast Middle. I am here to remind you about our fundraising project that we just started. We are going to be selling a variety of things and I'm going to show you right now. All students should have received this packet. Inside the packet we have items like delicious food, pizzas, um, cupcakes, chocolates. You know your neighbors want to buy them from you. So please go around and ask for purchases. Jewelry, lots of stuff in here. Um, nice Christmas presents, never too early to think about that. And then we also have chocolate and sweet temptations. So please sell as much as you can. All of the funds that you raise are gonna go to support student activities so we can do extra things outside of the classroom. And don't forget, if you sell five items, or more, you get to attend the awesome in-school mega party and you don't want to miss that. 
So please sell, sell, sell. The deadline for orders is um, October 2nd and the goods will be delivered November 7th. So please ask your teachers, ask your neighbors, your parents, wherever you go on the weekend, sports teams, churches, wherever. We need funds, so please sell as much as you can. Go, uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead. So remember, Northeast Middle School, sell, sell, sell. We need money. Hello, Northeast family. And guess what? It is box top time. Everyone should have received their Ravens box top collection sheets. Um, there are five rows of five. And therefore, you should be turning in 25 box tops on this sheet. You have until October 21st to turn in the sheets and the person who turns in the most box tops sheets will win a Ravens prize and students who fill out the most box top sheets will be invited to a pancake breakfast on October 31st and that's going to be terrific because it's Halloween so please be sure to bring in your box top sheets remember that you can find these box tops on all types of products. Here's one uh, to show you on the Betty Crocker um, cake mix. It's right there in the corner. Also, you can find it on butter. You can find it on um, different rice, box rice products, canned goods. So make sure that you look in your pantry and look for that box top emblem and cut it out. Paste it. Take it, staple it on, and bring it into your homeroom teacher, which will who will then give it to me. So good luck, good luck cutting, and I can't wait to see you all for the box top pancake breakfast on Halloween. Hello students and staff of Northeast Middle School. Today I come to present to you another fundraiser that we're running at Northeast Middle School. It's a coupon book. Coupon book costs $20. In the coupon book you get a lot of variety of different coupons such as market coupons, you get Burger King, you have Taco Bell, you have Pizza Bowlies, Pizza Hut, all different types of coupons that you're receiving, which really adds up to more than the $20 that you're paying for the cost of the book. We ask that you go out and let everyone in your community know about these coupon books. We don't have enough to actually send them home, so we ask that you would let them know by word of mouth. Or when your parents come up, you can inform them about them. We will have them on site at the school that can be purchased from someone in the office, myself or Mrs. Jones. We also ask for our staff members if you could please be responsible for purchasing or even responsible for selling one. So we ask that everyone will help with this endeavor for it will raise money for our student activity funds. Thank you and enjoy your day.